this lesson we will deal with the idea of sustainable development and its achievements as the only possible answer to the global environmental and social crisis we are living. Depletion of natural resources, alarming water scarcity, fossil fuels utilization and environmental impact related with, rising temperatures, extreme weather, growing oceans level and mass species extinctions are some of the environmental issues that represent the new and dangerous stage in planetary evolution named Anthropocene. The term Anthropocene was invented by the Nobel Prize for Chemistry Paul Crutzen in 2000. He declared that so extensive has been the damage to the biosphere caused by human activities since the industrial transition, which started with fossil fuel discovery and utilization, that the present interglacial era, until now named the Holocene, should be renamed the Anthropocene. That is referred with the human responsibility starting with the first industrial revolution. It happened an increasing in human society intensity and ecological footprint, a human dominance of biological, chemical and geological processes on Earth. At the same time, a complex and deep ecological and social crisis occurred as a direct effect of that anthropocentrism that is responsible of the rapid deterioration of our physical, social and economic environment. The global ecological crisis seems to be a part of a more general complex crisis that needs a profound answer both by social, economic and environmental. We are, all together, at the same time, witness and actors and can make uh, the changing we want. I'm sure each of us is experimenting, also in our common and daily life, several environmental issues that have strong effects and impacts, also at economic and social and global level, such as uh, stormy rainfall water events uh, or at the same time desertification and drought responsible of our urban damages and flood and mass migrations of people, excessive amount of domestic waste or traffic and their emissions that cause extreme uh, pollution and can often make our cities unlivable. The concept of integral ecology introduced by Pope Francesco in his encyclical letter Laudato Si in 2015 on the care of our common home, which clearly respects environment, human and social dimensions, suggests the way for a new humanism. The letter content reflects uh, the statements, the deep concern and the valuable considerations uh, of numerous uh, scientists, philosophers, civic groups uh, and theologians also outside the Catholic Church uh, from other Christian communities and other religions as well. The ecological crisis is an appeal to the whole of humanity for a profound conversion of the interior. It is not simply necessary to consider a new technological, economic and institutional innovation perspective, but to think about the motivations that come from the care of the world. The urgent challenge to protect our common home includes a concern to seek a sustainable and integral development for we know that things can change. On the basis of the same consideration and analysis, and starting from a common concern and need for commitment, in the same year, 2015, it has been drawn up by the United Nations the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development approved by the heads of state during an historic worldwide United Nations summit. 
On 1st January 2016, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development officially came into force. Over the next 15 years, with these new goals that universally apply to all, countries have to mobilize efforts to end all forms of poverty, fight inequalities and tackle climate change while ensuring that no one is left behind. The document determines the commitments on sustainable development to be achieved by 2030 identifying these 17 global goals and 169 targets. But which is the nature and which are the characteristics of the 2030 Agenda? The 2030 Agenda itself consists of main four sections. A political declaration concerning the universality of the Agenda for a new global partnership characterized by shared responsibility, mutual accountability and engagement by all. A set of 17 Sustainable Development Goals and 169 targets strongly interconnected each other and based on the integration between the three dimensions of sustainable development. Means of implementation, a new global framework and a comprehensive set of policy actions and measures to support the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. A framework to follow up and review of the Agenda. The 2030 Agenda integrates in a balanced manner the three dimensions of sustainable development – economic, social and environmental. At first sight, the 17 goals can be classified in the three main dimensions that are related with as environmental, for instance clean water and sanitation or climate action, social, for instance, and poverty, and zero hunger, and economic, for instance, uh, decent work and economic growth. But the 2030 Agenda is also indivisible, in a sense that it must be implemented as a wall in an integrated manner, recognizing that the different goals and targets are closely interlinked. By several points of view, in fact, it's evident to see that the Sustainable Development Goals are strongly interconnected and each goal interrelates with all the others. Just as an example, if we are considering the climate action, goal number 13, take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts, means not only to be strongly related with sustainability, of our cities and communities, goal 11, and in circular economy promotion, goal 12, but also to contribute to end poverty, goal number one, to be strictly correlated with clean and renewable energy production, goal seven, to cooperate for a more decent work and economic growth, goal eight. In conclusion, as stated in Sustainable Development Goals report, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development provides a global blueprint for dignity, peace and prosperity for people and the planet, now and in the future.